and obviously there's bad servers out there, but I also think there's a perception that a lot of these big servers are bad. Um, obviously, I've had videos made on my server, but because I don't go and respond to it because I know it just causes more drama, a lot of people just believe that I'm this horrible monster when in reality, <laughs> I genuinely am not. Stop the cap. <laughs> Because I don't go and respond to it. Because I don't go and respond to it. Because I don't go and respond to it. Hey guys, today I am making a response video because I've been cancelled. Yes, that's right. Servers are shutting down. I've been cancelled. I'm pretty bored. And someone made like a server review and he seems to hate me quite a bit. The real reason you don't respond to me is because you're scared. And if you aren't scared, then I want to have a call with you and I want to record it and I want to put it on YouTube where we settle this drama once and for all. Brad, I know you're watching. You have 48 hours to respond to me. If you don't, you will forever be known as Pussy McGee. Okay, boys, I got more news about Unturned Pay to Win. I know I've been talking about this a shit ton, and I'm kind of beating a dead horse at this point. However, this is big news because Nelson officially posted server hosting rules for Unturned. And some of these fucking rules are game changing. They're huge. So yeah, before I go through these rules, I just want to thank everyone that fucking helped me through this journey of destroying pay to win. It became like its own series on my channel. I guess pay to win was this massive problem that everyone knew about, but no one talked about it. And I was the first one to actually bring it up as a major issue in the game. And it actually got fixed by Nelson. We had the Nelson interview. All of this shit is historic. With that being said, let's go over these rules together. So it says starting on May 28th, warnings will begin getting sent out for breaking this rule. So I guess that's like a grace period to fix your shit before you get fucking banned. It says hosts are allowed to sell permanent benefits and monthly subscriptions. Consumable microtransactions are not allowed and not is fucking highlighted there. I love that. The examples of allowed monetization, accepting donations, selling permanent or monthly subscription access to play on the servers, selling ranks, kits, unlocks, benefits, etc. available permanently for the duration of the monthly subscription. Timers or cooldowns are fine. Selling cosmetics like custom skins, name tags, chat colors. I don't know how the fuck they do that in game. Selling services or commissions, for example, a modder taking commissions for new content that gets added to the server for all players. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that one really means because I'm not really involved in the modding shit. But for those that do understand that, there you go. And now we have examples of banned monetization. Selling in-game items like weapons, ammunition, supplies, bases, etc. Selling in-game vehicles. Selling experience points. Selling currency. Selling ranks, kits, unlocks, benefits, etc which stack with themselves as a loophole. Now, first of all, the massive thing is that this completely fucks Brad's RP, which has been my primary example for the pay to win problem. And it's just a really bad server. Selling in-game currency, you can't do that. And selling in-game currency went along with like buying vehicles and bases in game. That's like, cause that took money and you could just buy money to buy that. So it's almost like buying a base with real money, but all that is gone. You can't do any of that now. So yeah, you can't sell items and shit anymore. I'm pretty sure servers like Warzone or something like that do that where you can buy fucking weapons and shit or buy gear. That's all gone. So this huge issue that's been an unturned for so long where people would just buy weapons, you know, buy all this shit to fucking literally pay to win is gone and it's gonna be more funny to make fun of people that buy mvp because it's a monthly subscription so that means they're spending that money monthly to fucking no life on a server it's interesting because i'm sure little timmy can't just steal his mom's credit card and make a purchase because that purchase will now be monthly and she'll catch on to it and fucking cancel it. So basically half of all of the people that fucking buy ranks are gone because half of them are little kids. So they're all fucked. And now we get into the last little bits here. Monetization filter. This was a thing that Nelson mentioned in my interview with him. I actually, if you guys recall, I actually liked that idea. Well, that is now going to be a thing. The monetization filter will be a thing. He says here that the monetization field in each server's config.json file defaults to unspecified, 
but can be set to none or a non gameplay. If configuring this field, please ensure to be truthful. None is for unmonetized or donation only servers, and non gameplay is for servers with purchases that do not provide a gameplay advantage. Players filtering the server list by non-gameplay will also see none servers. So basically now you can just filter out pay to win servers. So if you don't want to play on a server that has pay to win of any kind, you can just filter it out so that it's not really an issue. And that's great. This is a great thing. This is kind of the best of both worlds almost because you can still have your shitty pay to win server. But if people don't like pay to win, they won't accidentally join it because of the filter. They could just filter no fucking pay to win and they'll join a server that's just an honest server. Nelson has a segment called workshop file copyright infringement. I think this goes into copyright infringement with the unturned workshop which is another segment in my interview with nelson this was actually something that was spearheaded by my two sicilies he brought in a bunch of fucking people that were talking about how their fucking mods were getting stolen by server owners brad the owner of brad's rp he stole mods from people and uploaded them himself and when my two sicilies called him out he deleted the upload of the stolen mods because he didn't want to get fucked mod authors can submit a notice of copyright infringement here if you have created a notice of copyright infringement against a server host please notify smartly dressed games by email as well we will keep a record of servers workshop file usage if there is a pattern of copyright infringement we will ban the server so now if brad wants to steal fucking mods and shit he'll get his fucking server banned. And any other server that does that will get their server banned. And that's great. This is a great change. I was there for that bit with Sicilies and that call. I didn't necessarily understand everything that they were talking about, but I understood that mods were getting stolen and used for other people's gain. And, and that is being addressed also here. So I guess Nelson really just went with a lot of the things that were said in the town hall meeting. Which is great. This is why Nelson is one of the best game developers because he actually listens to the fucking community. One thing that really boggles my mind is the fact, and I know I already brought this up, but in my Mr. Spammel video, Mr. Spammel didn't link the town hall meeting in the description. And that's a huge video. And that's where I feel like a lot of the shit stems from. It stems from that video. And he didn't include it because it had a rhetoric that he didn't agree with. That's just a little note about that, by the way. By the way, Mr. Spammel still hasn't responded to me. He's just gone into damage control. He blocked me. He's banning people from his Discord that post my video. It's just, it's just bullshit. These people are cowards. But Nelson, he did a really good thing here. Pay to win is done. It's over. Pay to win is basically over. Like, there's, like, hardly anything that they can do now. And that's great. So... You know, despite all of the bitching from Fudgy and Brad and all these fuckers that have pay-to-win servers, pay-to-win got banned because Nelson listened to the community. We're on the right side of history here on the Z-Man 1064 channel. We changed the game here on the Z-Man 1064 channel. I've been saying it for months now. This channel and my community, we are the future of Unturned. And if you want to be the future as well, you should fucking drop that subscribe. Because we did all this shit and actually got the game to change. Of course, I don't actually know how much my videos contributed to Nelson taking a look at pay to win but i feel like it did at least something because i know he watched them he said it himself so yeah if you want to be a part of the future fucking you know what to do you got to smash that subscribe you smash the like button i feel like it's warranted now since we actually got the game to change and it's fucking great so yeah with that being said uh i'm gonna head out i know that was a bit of a shorter video not really the shit i've been uploading recently shit like the great war of kuwait that was fucking incredible I will have more shit like that in the future. I've just been really busy in real life. I have a job. People want to go out and party with me because I'm, I'm cool, I guess. I don't fucking know. All right. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to head out. Love you guys. Thank you for all the support. The channel has been doing fucking phenomenal. Everyone said we were going to fail, and we are the only ones that are succeeding now. So they're all fucking wrong. With that being said, I'm going to head out. Love you guys. I'm going to go take a fucking massive victory shit i shit it in my pants i am for real never meant to make my booty shit i apologize i shit my pants i shit it in my pants i am for real